Well, John Kelly's departure has long been expected. For months now, the president and Kelly have really been butting heads. If you remember, John Kelly was brought in as the president's second chief of staff, and his main mission was really to try to bring order to a very chaotic West Wing. He did that, but as he was doing things like limiting access to the Oval Office, uh, getting in the way of Trump uh, outside allies contacting him, that really irritated some people who were used to this unfettered access. Also, kind of chafed on the president, uh, began to get on his nerves, the idea that it felt like someone was trying to control him. So over the months, their relationship has really kind of devolved to the point where at times uh, the two of them really didn't even want to be speaking to each other. Uh, so the question, though, has been who was going to replace John Kelly? You can't get him out unless you've got a replacement. Uh, for many weeks now, uh, Trump has been in discussions with Nick Ayers. Nick Ayers was uh, Vice President Mike Pence, chief of staff, um, and it was thought that uh, Ayers would be coming in at some time, either at the end of this year or early next year, to replace John Kelly. But what we saw this weekend was that those negotiations fell apart. Uh, Nick Ayers has young triplet children. Uh, he had been saying for a long time that he wanted to return to his home state of Georgia, and uh, it seemed like the president uh, wanted a longer-term commitment than what Nick Ayers was willing to give him. He only wanted to stay on for a couple of months to serve in the position on an interim basis. The president on Sunday decided that he didn't want that, and now the search has begun for a new replacement. John Kelly says that he is leaving by the end of the year. I think January 2nd is the date that we've heard for his likely official departure, and now the question is, who's going to replace him. Well, many senior White House staffers were really uh, surprised by the fact that Nick Ayers uh, did not choose to come on board, at least temporarily. It really seemed until yesterday afternoon that this was a done deal. So now you've basically got a search beginning from scratch. Well, at this point, there are a lot of names that are being thrown out there. The White House uh, officials have told us that the president has a short list of about four people. Uh, we know a couple of names on that list of people the president was sort of eyeing in this first round. Uh, one of them is uh, Congressman uh, Mark Meadows, who is the leader of the Freedom uh, Caucus, a very conservative group of members in the House. Uh, also, another person that we've heard is on the president's shortlist is Mick Mulvaney, who is currently uh, the president's uh, budget uh, guru. Uh, the problem is that uh, both of these people and uh, some other people who have been speculated about um, have really been signaling or have signaled in the past that they're not especially interested in the job. A close, source close to Mulvaney told me last night uh, that he really isn't interested in becoming chief of staff, that he'd prefer uh, maybe the job of Treasury Secretary or Commerce Secretary. Uh, Meadows has said previously, told Politico a couple of months back, that he's really quite happy in his job in the House. Uh, we're also hearing other names uh, that are out there as well. Um, the Treasury Secretary, for instance, Steve Mnuchin is a name uh, that has been talked about a little bit. We've heard uh, David Bossie, the president's former campaign manager. Even um, the current acting Attorney General Whitaker is somebody who some allies outside of the White House have been throwing around. Uh, so at this point, it's very, very fluid. And you've got folks in the White House who are even concerned that the president, you know, just starting this process now is going to have difficulty finding a replacement before uh, Kelly's official departure.